Okay, hello and welcome back to part three of our final deal for the layout. What we're going to do is we're going to create our silk screen now, and we are also going to create our um, Kerber files. So now, to create our silk screen, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our ULP, or our run, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to silk gen. Open this up. It's going to tell us that uh, we don't have that we can't open a silk screen. Well, that's because we don't have one. Now, I don't want the values turned on because I don't want it to say 10k, 5k, 4k. I don't want. I don't want that. But I do want the names and the place uh, on. And that's basically the only things that I shut off. Um, just hit make silk screen layers. OK. Execute. And voila, it just makes the silk screen layers. So now if you look in your layers, you've got T silk and B silk. So you got top and bottom silk screens. So now we can turn off these names, we'll leave the origins, we can turn off the place, leave the dimensions, and OK. And so now we have all of our stuff for our silk screen layers. So hooray. So that's just again, that's just the silk gen that's up in here. Yes, silk gen. That's cool. Now, also, some of you might want to be making bill materials. There is a bomb uh, maker file that's in there. You click OK. Uh, generates the bill materials. Um, oh, what was? What did it say? Why couldn't it? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Silly me. That's in the schematic. So you go in the schematic portion and you'll choose bomb. And then it's cool, it'll make uh, make a little bill of material for you, which is kind of kind of nice. But um, you can output that into HTML or text file. Um, you can have parts, you can have values, and it'll change it to that. Uh, or you can just do or do parts. That's usually the one that I do. You know, stuff. And you just you just choose save, and then you can save it uh, as whatever. It's kind of a kind of a cool little tool to have. Uh, it's kind of a simple way of getting your bill of material put together and then you can just take those and uh, I usually do them to text files and then do the text import thing in uh, Excel and just import it in and pull it into col columns and everything. That's usually what I do. But anyway, um, let's get going with creating Gerbers. So let's go over here to our CAM and again uh, I put in the description uh, that's that same uh, I, th I think I talked about it in the description of part two, but if you look at part two's, uh, the part two of the of this layout, layout part two video, there's in the description. I'll put, I'll post, I'll post. Go ahead and post it in this one too. But there is a link that uh, takes you to Spark Fun's website that has a lot of the design rules check uploads as well as all the cam files and everything for creating your Gerbers that are specific to the batch PCB board house which is very very nice to deal with that way you don't have to create all the jobs yourself so what you do is in this cam processor what you're going to do is you're going to go file open once you download those files you're going to go to a uh, job and see I've downloaded a bunch I even have some from Sunstone I've got some from a bunch of different the 274 stuffs and everything. What we're going to use is the SparkFun Electronics Gerber 274 CAM file. And this is the one that you will download from that website. I, like I said, again, we'll be in the description here. So we're going to click open. What it does is it's basically going to uh, choose what type of Gerber file, choose which layers will be involved in this top copper one for top. There's bottom silk and all that stuff. Now, originally the silk screens will be on different layers. <laughs> There will be uh, com comprisations of the placement and the um, names and values, I believe. I went ahead and changed mine and resaved my SparkFun Electronics deal, and I changed it to the top silk screen will be that T silk that we dealt with, which for some reason is not in this file. Well, let's go see why that is. Um, we've got T-Silk and B-Silk. Oh, go by job. Fun. Silk. Hmm. I have no idea why that's not in here. Okay, I got it. We, we have to we have to save. I think that's what the deal was since we created the silk screen. I don't think I saved after I did that. Uh, let's see. Grab this back. Top silk. 
yeah there it is okay we had to save make sure and save <laughs> okay so CT silk is what I changed it to um, and bottom silk screen will be the B silk one and that's what you want to do and then that way it changes your uh, changes that up for you so now to do this what you want to do is I'm going to open our file folder. Of course, you can see all my lessons in here. But what you want to do is you want to get rid of a lot of this junk. So, like all these backups, these are all backups. You want to just you know, get rid of those because we've we've already backed up everything. So this is the schematic backups. Get rid of that. We don't need that. Um, don't need any of that junk. I don't know what this silk thing is. We don't need that either. So all you want is the and this PRO, I don't know what that is. Uh, we can get rid of that. All you want is the schematic and the board. The SCH and the BRD. Just makes doing easier because what it'll do is it'll throw all these Gerber files just in the same folder. I wish there's a way to make it um, make it put them into a folder, but hey, you know, it's free software, so you can't complain too much. So now once you get all this done, you just hit process job. And what it'll do is then you see over here, boom, it just created a whole bunch of Gerber files. And those are all representative of all that stuff. So you create a whole bunch of Gerber files. So that's cool. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to create your drill file, which, oh, actually, it, it already created it, the, uh, the DRD file. Okay, so that does everything for you. So now to prepare this for a board house for, like, let's say, SparkFun, what you're going to need is you do not need the GPI. Um, you do not need the DRI, but the rest of them you do need. So all of these you do need to use. So I'm going to go ahead and zip these. Uh, I'm going to just make a archive. Oops, uh, they need zip files. So I need the DRD all the way down to this. And I want to add that to an archive. I want to zip it. Okay, so that will zip it. Now, t to make sure, you know, at this point, you're just at the mercy of you hope that everything got written correctly. What I do is I would download um, a uh, Gerber viewing, like a Gerber viewer, which a lot of them are they're, they're, uh, free, usually. Um, Altium has one out that's actually a very good one. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, if you look for it, there's a Gerber viewer editor viewer slash editor that Altium makes that is very, very good. Um, one that I've used is um, the Viewmate by Pentalogix. That's what I'm going to pull up right now. Uh, get rid of that. Um, but this is, uh, they give you a free free trial of it that's basically a free scaled down version of it. Um, and really all I'm using it for is just to view stuff with. So um, if you buy the pro version of this, you can uh, do editing and you can actually edit the Gerber files and change traces and do different things. I just want to view it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go up to File, Import. We're going to choose a zip because that's what we made and that's what we will ultimately be submitting. So let me get to where we are here. Let's see. I get Okay, so there's our zip file. We're going to say select, and that's going to show you kind of a, a rundown of what all it's going to import. I'll click OK, and then there it is. And if we notice, we can see that there's the drill holes there in white. Um, the pads are in blue are there. The back pad is the background plates there. All the traces, pretty much everything is there. So we are good. Um, that all that Gerber creation was fine so that means this zip file now you can send to anywhere and actually get actually get your, your stuff that you need and that's what we're gonna go ahead and temporarily show here in just a second let me get things situated and then I'll show you okay now what I'm going to show you is um, we've got basically batch PCB up here and I went ahead and logged in when you log in you'll be able to click on a deal that says upload and they'll bring you to this page and what you will do is you'll do like we'll say test here for this er, test um, you'll choose your file to upload which in our case we will be choosing our zip file and you'll click upload and what it will do is it'll upload all those Gerbers to their site and then they basically break it out and show you they've got the bottom layer your bottom silk which we don't have anything on our silks around the bottom the holes the traces see it breaks out everything shows you that everything went just fine all you have to do now is just continue on and go through t into the ordering process and hit order and your boards will be ready to go and they will produce them for you so that's basically the rundown on how to create all of that 
um, that's how to create your Gerbers and get them submitted into a zip file and everything and get them going. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's basically the last thing for designing your board. And as you can see, the silkscreen layer came through okay. Shows all of our pads and everything. So anyway, um, that's basically how to lay out a board um, from start to finish. And so I will be showing you however we're going to skip the board house type deal and I'll be showing you how to actually etch this board yourself uh, using different etching methods. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, those videos will be coming shortly. But um, for now, hope you're having fun. Continue to do good with your designs. Have a lot of fun. Please post any comments, questions, anything. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you guys for uh, all the support. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing these videos and I'm glad to see uh, so many people enjoying uh, the videos that I do. So um, we've got other stuff. I may try to work in here and there some videos. I've had uh, some different questions about stepper motors and things like that. I may try to squeeze some of those videos in. Uh, maybe get some stepper motor videos in there or something in between this lesson. So look for that and I will see you guys later. Thank you.